I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect and set up your next box. The first step is to take the USB-C power adapter, connect it with the power socket and connect it with your next box. Second step is to take the Ethernet cable, connect it with your internet router and with your next box. The next box is shipped together with the USB-C power connector and with the Ethernet cable so that you don't have to worry about this. This is a prototype casing consisting of metal. In the final product we will polish the surface so that it will look more nice. But it will still be a very robust metal casing. In order to demonstrate backups later, I'm also connecting a USB drive. Now to set up your next box, you open a web browser and enter HTTP next box. Here you choose a username and password. can ignore this warning because it's a local network and press the button for to start and finish the setup. After a few minutes the setup has been finished. So first of all I'm going to install the Nextbox app. In later versions of the system the Nextbox app will be installed by default. But in this case, I'm installing it with just a few clicks. Once it is installed, I can see it here in the top menu. And here I get all the Nextbox specific settings and features. I can mount and unmount USB drives to copy files to the drive or from the drive. I can perform backups. This is important when you have Unix data on your next box which you want to have a backup from. In this case you can create a backup to your local USB drive. Therefore you select the USB drive, mount it and start the backup. This backup includes all customer data, user data, like files, settings, Nextcloud apps. And now the backup has been finished successfully. I'm going to demonstrate the restore of the backup as well. Therefore, I'm going to the file section of the next cloud. Here we see some files which exist already. And for demonstration purpose, I'm going to delete them now. So now I don't have any files left in my next box. I'm going to the next box app and select the backup which I have been executed previously and start restoring this backup.
Now the backup has been restored successfully. Let's see which files do we have. Here are the files which I deleted previously. They are back in my next box. So the restore of the backup has been executed successfully. Another section is a remote access. This is important. If you want to access your next box, which is in your home, from, say, your mobile phone or from remote when you have your laptop with you. For such cases, you need to configure your next box for the remote access. There are different ways of doing this. I'm going to demonstrate the most easiest way, which is here. All I have to do is to choose a domain name. Uh, the domain name is under nitrokey.com which is the service provider here. So I choose for this demonstration made and I enter a token which is required in order to use this service. Um, this token is provided along with the next book when buying it. So in this case I'm just entering a demonstration data here. Hit the button and it takes a couple of seconds to configure this. So it's not done yet. Now the remote access has been enabled. So let's give it a try. I'm opening the domain name which I chose. And here I am accessing the next box at, in my home as it would be any internet server. I enter my username and password. And here I am. There are also other ways of enabling a remote access. Uh, they are a little bit more complicated but still relatively easy. It's a dynamic DNS option uh, which I'm not showing to here right now. Um, instead I'm giving an overview of the Nextcloud itself. So the Nextcloud uh, has a file section as you would expect. These files can be synced among your mobile phones and client computers. You can store and manage photos in your next cloud. You even have the possibility to host video conferences and screen sharing sessions. You can access any email account from within this next cloud. You can store contact data and calendar data and link those with your mobile phone and other devices like Outlook and Thunderbird. And last but not least, you have a huge app store with hundreds of interesting apps of various sections like um, even games, integration, multimedia, office, security, and uh, social media. Enjoy! I'm going to demonstrate how to access an Xbox from a mobile phone. In this case we have an Android phone, but it works similarly with iPhones and other mobile phones. The first step is to install the next cloud app. Therefore open your favorite app store. In this case it's F-Droid, but it works similarly for Google Play and Apple's iPhone App Store. So search for Next Cloud. You will find here a couple of apps. The first one with the very same name, Next Cloud, is the one to synchronize files with your next box. Install it. Confirming. Now it's downloading the Next Cloud app. And once it's installed, open it. 
and it asks to log in. Here we enter the domain name we chose previously to access our next box remotely. And we enter the username and password, which we chose when setting up the next box initially. Confirming. Confirm once again. And now the Nextcloud app synchronizes your files stored on your local Nextbox. This works from everywhere. And in a moment, you will see the files, these files which we saw previously when logging into the next box through the web browser. So from now on, the files are syn synchronized between this mobile phone and your next box.